Welcome back to Partial Derivatives in Thermodynamics in Physical Chemistry. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about second derivatives of multivariable functions and how that allows us to ultimately derive some very important relationships in thermodynamics. Okay, now that Second derivatives of multivariable functions, what multivariable functions are we dealing with? Well, in general, we're going to be dealing with functions of two variables. And if you think about what, what we've dealt with so far, we've dealt with internal energy. That's a function of two variables. In fact, it's a function of volume and temperature. We've dealt with enthalpy, which is a function of uh, pressure and temperature. Um, we've also dealt with uh, entropy, which can either be written as a function of pressure and temperature or volume and temperature. And we're ultimately going to deal with Gibbs free energy and then also Helmholtz free energy. And every one of these functions right here, these state functions, can be written in terms of being dependent on two variables. Okay, so let's suppose we have a function f and it's a function of x and y. So we can write that as f as a function of x and y, where x and y are the independent variables. Now let's use an, a, a concrete example. Let's suppose that f is equal to 3x squared y to the fourth. All right, so what we're ultimately going to do here is we're going to take the derivative of this function with respect to x, and we're also going to take it with respect to y. Now, why are we going to do that? Well, we're ultimately going to take the second derivative of the function, and then we're going to equate them, and we'll talk about what the implications of that are. All right, so if I take the derivative of f with respect to x, the 3 and the y to the 4th I'm going to treat as constants, and so if I take the derivative of x squared, that's going to be 2x, and so when I multiply by that, that by 3, I'm going to get 6xy to the 4th. This is the derivative with respect to x, and notice I am holding y constant in that case. I'll also take the derivative of this function with respect to y, and I'm going to treat the constant and x term here, x squared, as a constant. So if I take the derivative of this function with respect to y, the derivative of y to the fourth is 4y cubed. I'll take the 4, multiply by the 3, and I get 12x squared y to the third. Okay, now certainly by no means are the first derivative with res first derivative of f with respect to x and the derivative of f with respect to y, they're not equal. Okay, they're certainly not equal. However, there is something we can ultimately do in... Uh, in, in calculus terms, where if we take the derivative of the function with respect to x first, and then we take whatever we get here, in that case that's this, if we take the derivative then with respect to y, that's the same thing as taking first the derivative of f with respect to y, and then taking the other one with respect to x. Okay, so let's take this this function right here that we got, this is the this is the derivative of f with respect to x, and now let's differentiate this with respect to y. One way we can write this is, is d squared f, this is technically not a d because it's a partial, but d squared f over dx dy. Now another way of saying that, which is actually a lot more helpful, is what we're going to do is we take this derivative that we already took, and that's the derivative of f with respect to x, holding y constant, and then we're going to take that and now differentiate whatever we get with this with respect to y, okay? So in other words, what I would do is I would take, ultimately, this function right here, this was the derivative of f with respect to x, I just plug that in there, and then I differentiate it with respect to y. So what happens, ultimately, if I differentiate this thing, if I differentiate that with respect to y? What happens? Well, the 6x are more or less treated as constants, and then I'm going to differentiate y to the fourth, and that's going to be 4y cubed. Well, that's ultimately going to give me this, 24xy cubed. That would be this thing right here, the derivative of f, both with respect to x and y. So in other words, it's a mixed second partial derivative. Okay, It's mixed because you differentiate one with respect to x, the other with respect to y. Well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the expression I got, when I took the derivative of f with respect to y first, this right here, and now I'm going to differentiate that with respect to x. So now let's differentiate all this. Let's do that with respect to x, okay? The 12y cubed are now constants. Derivative of x squared is 2x, so when I multiply all that together, I'm going to get this, 24xy cubed. And Another way of writing this is I take ultimately this right here. This was 
this 12x squared y cubed, that was the derivative of f with respect to y holding x constant. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate whatever I got for that with respect to x. So notice these two expressions right here. Okay, these two things right there, those two. Okay. Okay, in the numerator, I have this d squared f, right? Notice in the denominator, in the first one, I have dx dy. In the second one, I have dy dx, okay, in the, new, in the denominator there. It turns out that when you have a multivariable function and you differentiate it twice, once with one variable and the other with respect to the other, it doesn't matter which order you differentiate them. You're going to get exactly the same second derivative. So these two, uh, these two second derivatives right here, these are, this is the, uh, second are the second mixed partial derivative of f when we differentiate with respect to x first and then y. And this is the second mixed partial derivative when we take the derivative of f with respect to y first and then x. So that ultimately yields this following relationship, which is extremely important in some areas of science, and that includes physical chemistry. And that's the following, is that it means if we differentiate f with respect to y and then differentiate it with respect to x, that's equivalent to differentiating f with respect to x first and then differentiating that with respect to y. In other words, when we have a multivariable function and we're going to differentiate it twice, once with each variable, the order of differentiation actually doesn't matter. And so that means whatever I get ultimately here has to be equal to whatever I get here. And you can see that here, 24xy cubed, 24xy cubed, okay? And we're going to be doing this for a series of multivariable functions of two variables. Um, and those were ultimately the state functions that were up here. We can ultimately get a series of very important um, thermodynamic relationships just by using um, this relationship right here, which is basically when we equate the second derivatives that are mixed, okay, the mixed second derivatives of multivariable functions, all right? So I hope this video gave you an introduction to what we're going to be doing. This is just the mathematical side of it. Now what we're going to be doing in, a, in the next few videos is we're actually going to use that relationship that's derived from calculus, and we're actually going to um, determine some relationships in thermodynamics that are going to be called Maxwell relationships. Hope that helps see you in the next video.